Here's a sea cow, and over here on the wall is a cephalopoodle. Cephalopoodle? <laughs> <laughs> the unofficial mascot of the Pioneer <laughs> Trails Regional <laughs> Museum. That's right. The far side Bowman. still lives in Bowman. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Valley of the Last Dinosaurs. Tonight we left our quarries and drove over to the cool town of Bowman, North Dakota. And uh, we're here at the Pioneer Trails Regional Museum with my good friend Dr. Antoine Bercovici. And he's brought me to meet and hang out with his longtime friend and mentor, Dean Pearson. Dean, you've been doing this for a long time. This is such a cool collection. I understand there's hundreds of thousands of fossils in your collection here? That's correct. That's amazing. And what I think is so cool about this small town museum is that it's all been collected with meticulous attention to detail. And it's all available for research use, is that right? Cool, so in all the years that you've been doing this and mentoring people like Antoine here and the next generation of paleontologists in this region, um, what are the cool projects you've been working on? Well, the one that really I like the best is this one right here in this cabinet. Ooh, cabinet 193. Cabinet 193. This is a site that reflects the recovery after the extinction event. So it represents the basal 2.85 meters of the Fort Union formation. And what it is, is we took this site and we screen washed it, uh, one meter square area divided it into four quadrants and subdivided each of those into five centimeter increments and we screen washed five centimeters at a time through a 380 micron screen we excavated about 8,500 kilograms and we ended up with 2,500 fossils out of a site that had no bones exposed on the surface when we started. Now that's meticulous. When Antoine told me you were meticulous, I had no idea that was the level of detail he was talking about. So that many uh, kilograms of sediment going through uh, a fine screen and to find what? What are you looking for? Well, we're looking for anything that's here. I mean, we had no idea what was there or how fast things appeared after the extinction event. So what we have here is we started screen washing at the coal. As we move up section, we crossed the boundary. So we went from the Hell Creek Formation, which is Cretaceous in age, to the tertiary, uh, the Paleogene, which is the basal part of the Fort Union Formation. And we find out that we're having lots of things appear almost instantaneously as soon as we cross that boundary. Okay, so this is the KT boundary era, the stuff before the extinction, the stuff just immediately after, all organized in time. How much work does it take to do this kind of project? Well, it took us about four years. Four well, years? I'm not going to say how many hours in the lab, but it took a lot of hours. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of near revolts, but we got through it. <laughs> but the interesting thing about this site as well is this site also produces leaves. And so each of these horizons that produce vertebrates also produce plants as well. So these vials are full of the remains of the vertebrates, and we also have the leaf component too, so a lot of the ecology is sampled this way. That is right. We have actually the triangle of preservation. We have those beautiful vertebrates. But at the same exact time, that site was also producing beautiful leaves, which we've been able to sample right there. Oh, wow. And within the rock also, we also been able to find some pollen. We recovered more than 2,500 vertebrates from there. Uh, there is also uh, hundreds of leaves and billions of pollen grains, of course, because they're very tiny, so there's lots of them. But all this data together will be uh, a prime documentation of what happened immediately after the asteroid impact and how life on Earth recovered from this mass extinction event. Well, that's phenomenal. Now, so Tyler's been explaining to me that um, this whole modeling project, finding out where that KT boundary is relative to all these fossil sites, involves borrowing collections or using the collections records from lots of different institutions. And I understand you're one of the pillars of that whole project. And we've got Kirk Johnson and his leaf component. We've got Tyler Leeson and the dinosaur component and the stuff he's finding. We got the lower vertebrate stuff, the small mammals and other types of vertebrate material, and Antoine's got the pollen, so that's basically the four pillars that's holding up this research project. Oh my gosh, and that model that we're making at the KT boundary that's been the subject of all of our videos this summer um, really ties all that work together. That's correct. That's really cool. Like These big collaborative research projects just blow my mind, like the way that you guys have learned uh, to keep the data that you need and to anticipate what other people are going to need, and then your ability to like collaborate and play well with others is pretty important, huh? That's real important. Well, guys, this is awesome. Dean, how long has it taken you to put this hundreds of thousands of awesomely curated fossils together? Well, I started back in the summer of 1983. 1983, okay, so that's been quite some time. Do you see yourself slowing down any? You think you're going to keep after Oh, yes, it? oh, yes. At this stage of the game, part of this project as well is to turn it over to the next generation, and that's why people like Antoine 
and I've been working with this and I've been trying to pass off the stuff that we've learned to people like him and Tyler. Well, I believe that these guys can handle it, but I also don't believe for a second that you're going to stop doing this. <laughs> no, <probably not>. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be dragging you out there one of these days. That's probably right. Well, that's great. Guys, thanks so much for taking some time with us today. This has been really fun. I am blown away by the Pioneer Trails Regional Museum here. Um, the level of detail you guys have gone to to make this collection. It's amazing. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Okay, guys, till next time, we'll see you. Goodbye from the Valley of the Last Dinosaurs.